What's going on guys? It's the first episode of our uh, detailing vlog that we're going to do. And today we are going on a mobile job to do a 2000 Mercedes that is black and it's been a customer at the automatic car wash pretty much since she's had it so uh this uh this should be fun so uh these are the kind of cars they're actually like working on because you see a big before and after difference uh the subject we're gonna cover today is uh because we're basically gonna one step um this car even though it probably needs a two step but again you know don't sell showroom paint correction to a daily driver because nine times out of ten they're not even gonna know how to maintain a flawless finish anyway so uh, today we're gonna go over the subject of of basically are your one steps efficient uh, you know some people are doing one steps and it's actually taking them longer than uh, a traditional two-step would so today we're gonna uh, go over what's the best combination we're gonna use on this Mercedes we're gonna do some testing uh, we're gonna see what's the most efficient and what's giving us the best results while giving the customer what she expects and what she's paying for all while being time efficient for us so we're on our way now I should be there shortly okay so here's what we're, what we're working on you could see how bad that is yikes that's a uh, that's pretty uh, bad. There's some deep ones in there, which I explained to the customer that with the one step you can only expect so much. Okay, earlier I was talking about are your one step sufficient? And what I meant by that was, you know, people, you know, I read on the forums or watch videos that they're gonna perform a one step and you know they try to remove as much damage as possible which is always the goal but at the end you know a lot of people are hurting themselves because you know if they're trying to make the panel perfect with a mid-grade polish and what I mean by that is if you're using a mid-grade polish and you do five section passes wipe off and you say oh I'm not satisfied with it do another five section passes and say oh maybe one more do another five section passes you're being less efficient than a traditional two-step you're better off using a compound do four passes and then use a polish and do like three passes that's gonna be more time efficient um, however that's not really a one-step a one-step is you know 50% improvement and on whatever the paint is giving to you of course if you're getting 80 90% which is possible I've done it before with a mid-grade polish you know you're, you're gonna milk whatever you could get but uh, you know I, I see these guys online you know they're talking about I use 205 and I've done multiple passes then I had to clean it up with haze and and it just you know it uh, it doesn't make sense to me and then I, I read online that they they spent you know uh, 10 hours eight hours on a one step when a one step maximum depending on the size of the vehicle you know should take no more than you know four four to five hours you know and if you're gonna spend any more time on that then you might as well you know do a two-step so today I'm gonna be trying this is the first process we're trying is correcting cream with a correcting pad I'm gonna be doing four to five passes max. That is a one step. I'm gonna butter the pad. 100% defect removal isn't my goal because that's not what the customer wants. So I have to be time efficient. And the thing about that is, is earlier when you start off detailing, you know, you know the right thing to do and and what's perfect and you know how to fix it so naturally you want to do you know the most to, to get but you know nine times out of ten the customer can't even maintain or handle perfection or showroom paint you know they're, they're, they might go to a automatic car wash right after you polish it so you know don't sell showroom paint correction to a daily driver 
So if your customer just wants a one step, give them a one step. Be time efficient. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here. And hopefully this does a decent job. Gonna work about that big of an area. I'm gonna work around speed four to five. off to see what the paint did um, when you're first doing the test spot on your car you normally don't want to do like six to eight section passes you want to do less passes to see what the paint is giving you so if you know you could get it done in three passes then you do it in three passes and instead of doing it in eight so you have to know what's kind of the minimum on the paint so yikes that looks great that actually came out better than I was expecting. Woo. Okay, so look, I just done, I don't know, four passes maybe max. I wasn't really counting. And let me get you off the tripod. See that? Those specs you're seeing are like solvent pop. Nothing we could do about that. But look at that. From that to that. That's a, a great transformation. Boom. And that was just a, a great example. So now I know on this specific panel, you know, every panel is different, you know, depending if it's fiberglass, if it's plastic, but I know that I could get away with about three to four passes and I can get those kind of results. Now, can we get better results than that? Absolutely. But, you know, that's the point, defying the point of a one step. If I go back in there and go for another pass, which I'm going to do the whole lid again, but if I go in for another pass, that's defying the point of a one step. The point of a one step is to be time efficient. It's not perfection. We'll, we'll use this analogy. If you was to dig a hole with a spoon, what's going to be faster, a shovel or a spoon? Okay, so this is kind of like the spoon. I don't want to keep using the spoon when I could use a shovel. You know, the shovel being the compound and, you know, the spoon being the polish. If I want to make this thing perfect, I'm going to do a two-step. I'm not going to use a mid-grade polish because I'm going to be more time efficient, you know, than just a mid-grade polish. Another thing is doing, doing multiple passes on one panel, that introduces heat, you know, that breaks down your pads. You know, that, that jeopardizes the paint. You know, paint doesn't like heat. So, uh, you know, it's actually safer to do a two-step sometimes than doing multiple, multiple passes with a mid-grade polish, you know, if, if that makes sense. So, that's just a great example of what a one-step is. And that's basically what a one-step is. Is there some deeper ones that I could go after and chase? Absolutely, but this is not a two-step. I'm going to do one pass, enhance what I have, and that's it and then we're gonna go from there so uh, I'll keep you up to date if anything else pops up and
But that's what we're gonna go around with. We're gonna use the G21, the correcting pad, and correcting cream. So that seems to be doing the trick.